Ghost of Tsushima has been running absolutely buttery smooth for me, but as I was going to report on the performance, I actually noticed something really exciting in the graphics settings for anybody who doesn't have a 40 series NVIDIA GPU. Uh, so check this out. So a lot of games these days have frame generation. Uh, not all of them have FSR 3, but this does, but not only that, most games with FSR 3 as an official implementation don't let you enable it when you're using DLSS upscaling. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU like a 30 series GPU, a lot of times you could use DLSS upscaling, but you couldn't then use FSR 3 frame generation. Usually you would have to switch to FSR 3 upscaling in order to use it. Uh, but check this out. This game is allowing you to do it, uh, and they are split. Uh, here I'm now uh, getting over, let's see, reset the frame rate counter, getting around 200 frames per second now. Now remember, frame generated frames aren't as, as good as non frame generated frames, but still pretty cool. Now, so far this is on an RTX 4090, so I don't really need it to be honest, but we'll test out uh, at least one weaker GPU to kind of show what I mean and what it's good for. Before we jump into that, let's talk a bit about the visuals and performance. So if I go back to native 4K resolution, and I am running the game at the very high preset. Looks like I could manu manually turn up the filtering, but I'm just gonna stick to the presets for the ease of comparison's sake. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that the game, at least as far as I've been, I'm not super far yet, uh, full disclosure, we're running uh, easily between 80 and 100 frames per second at maxed out 4K settings. Now, the game itself, if you look closely at the details, like these aren't super detailed, uh, assets if you look at things really closely. But I think there's a lot to be said for the overall art design of the game, which makes it, uh, I think, look better than maybe just the technical detail level of individual assets uh, would uh, otherwise indicate. And I, I really wish more games, you know, focus on the art design, because you don't necessarily have to push the number of polygons and the uh, texture levels and all of that to crazy amounts uh, to make a really good looking game. Uh, but, you know, it's not that interesting that the game runs well on a 4090. It does. If I want to uh, uh, max out my 4K display, I probably wouldn't use um, frame generation. I could kick on DLSS quality, which looks great at 4K. And uh, now we're going to basically be able to uh, max out uh, the display, this is 120 hertz display, so you know, if you kick on VSync, it'll lock to that. But anyway, like I said, not that interesting that a 4090 runs it well. Uh, so why don't we pop in something like a 3060 and see how it runs there and try out maybe the AMD frame generation while using DLSS might be something interesting to look at. So I'm going to pop in my 3060. All right, we've now loaded up the RTX 3060. It did do a brief shader compilation step, which is nice, which should contribute to not having a stuttery gameplay. Like I said, so far it was really smooth on my uh, 4090, which you would you would certainly hope so. Uh, but anyway, it looks like here we are at, I'll, I'll hit the frame rate counter, mid 40s, low 40s frame rate. However, keep in mind, we're actually running the game at max settings at 1440p, and this is now on an RTX 3060. So that's actually, I'd say, pretty reasonable performance. And so with that in mind, we can now try out the upscaling and frame generation, as well as uh, you know turning down graphics settings. So let's actually kick on DLSS quality and see what that does for us on its own. So uh, resetting the frame rate averages, it looks like we're hitting right at 60 frames per second pretty much. If I spin the camera, it can get some dips. So it does dip below 60. Another thing I'll mention before we uh, try out that frame generation idea is that the game does offer dynamic resolution scaling. So we could set a 60 FPS target uh, with DLSS upscaling, and then it should just naturally lower the rendering res resolution as needed in order to hit that 60 FPS mark. Uh, so now if we scroll around, notice that it's, it's holding more to that 60 FPS and above line. Uh, which is nice to see. So I think for a lot of people, you might have uh, pretty good luck just setting the frame rate target for dynamic resolution scaling and away you go. However, uh, I don't think, um, you know, I'm curious how that would play with frame generation, uh, but for now let's uh, uh, leave it to a uh, no dynamic scaling, just kick on DLSS quality. But like I said, that was getting us near 60 FPS. Now we can kick on frame generation on the NVIDIA graphics card 
the 30 series, which can't run, you know, NVIDIA's frame generation. But the nice thing is we can leave on the DLSS upscaling, not have to switch to FSR upscaling, which usually doesn't have as good of image quality. So here, if we go ahead and reset the uh, frame rate counter, now you can see that we are up over 90. Now keep in mind that frame generation doesn't increase the responsiveness of the game. Uh, the way uh, raising the frame rate normally would. So it's not going to necessarily feel as responsive as 90, but this game I'm definitely playing on a controller. So on a controller, I can say like, I don't feel any noticeable latency issues. Now, as the camera pans past objects and they become disoccluded, like maybe the fire behind him and stuff like that, I think there's a little bit of a garbling <laughs> as, uh, uh, so like you can see another, some, some motion interpolation mm -hmm. artifacts. So again, fr uh, frame interpolation, frame generation isn't a perfect way uh, to boost frame rates, but it is really cool to see that option available when using the DLSS upscaling, which like I said, is uh, not the way this has usually been implemented in games up to this point. Uh, so that's pretty cool, uh, but I'd like to play around with frame, uh, you know, uh, boosting frame rates in other ways. So if we turn uh, upscaling off, uh, why don't we next take a look at uh, what if we just played the game at 1080p? So a lot of people with a 3060 might be on a 1080p monitor. So we're now at 1080p native resolution. And again, we are at the game's very high uh, preset. So max graphic settings there. Uh, if I go ahead and reset the frame rate counter, you can see that we are near 60 FPS, but not quite there. So basically an RTX 3060 is not quite going to be a locked 60 frames per second at max settings uh, 1080p. However, remember, uh, you could go ahead and try something like the dynamic resolution scaling to hit the, the frame rate target using DLSS upscaling. And it shouldn't have to do a lot of upscaling to hit 60 since we were close to 60. So despite the fact that we will dip below 1080p here, it's not gonna be by much. So I, I don't think it would look too bad and that would kind of smooth things out to that 60 FPS line. Um, that's one way to go. And again, from there, you could try kicking on frame generation if you have a high refresh rate display, that kind of thing. And then the other thing I wanted to look at is, okay, what if we're not uh, upscaling? What if we're just playing around with the graphic settings? Uh, so another thing I, I really like in this game is that you can change the graphic settings on the fly and watch them change, which is really nice. Because a lot of games, everything's blocked out with a menu as you change it. But here you can see the change happen in real time. If we go all the way down to very low settings, uh, and reset our frame rate counter, you can see that if, you, if you're just chasing frame rate, uh, you can get the game up uh, to around 100 frames per second on the 3060 here if we go down to the very low settings. So there's a lot of scalability there. We're almost doubling performance considering we're kind of in the mid to upper 50s at the max settings. And here we're over 100 FPS on the very low settings. So that shows that there's a lot of scalability. You can roughly double performance. Um, and then as you can see, you can see the graphics settings change as you go. If we go down to the high preset rather than the very high preset, uh, I think for a lot of people, that's gonna be a very quick and easy way uh, to boost your frame rate. Notice that we are now in the 70s uh, at native 1080p resolution on the 3060. Everything uh, looks and feels pretty good. And then if we went back to 1440p resolution, uh, and again, we're at the high settings now rather than the very high settings. Uh, native resolution, you can see that we're just a little under that 60 FPS line. So this would be a, a place where a lot of people uh, might either want to kick on the dynamic resolution scaling with DLSS to 60 FPS um, or just kick it to DLSS quality, something like that. And you can see here that, the, you know, it's not going to have to be lowering the rendering resolution that much. Uh, hard to notice any issues from it. And we are getting, um, like I said, uh, over 60 FPS now using that method. And again, we could just set it to DLSS quality. And if we do that, we're at high settings, DLSS quality. And if I reset the uh, frame rate counter here, we're, we're kind of in the 70s. So overall, I would say performance seems very good on at both 1080p and 1440p on the 3060. Don't really have any complaints. And like I said, it's pretty cool that you can kick on the uh, frame generation feature using the DLSS upscaling 
uh, if you want to take advantage of some f motion smoothing on a high refresh rate display, I can hear my kids running around upstairs. You can probably hear that too, uh, which means uh, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting dinner ready. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick look at the performance in this game. Uh, like I said, this is hardly a, a thorough test of, of later into the game, but overall uh, things have been smooth so far. I saw those couple cool options in the, in the settings menu. And I would say that, you, that there doesn't seem to be any indication there's any reason to be scared of the game's performance or anything like that if you were worried about that. So hope everybody has an excellent day.